What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4 and today I'll be talking about the Call of Duty franchise and also the gameplay in the background, guys. It is some Titanfall 2, and I know what people are gonna be saying. Joe, don't you hate futuristic games? I thought you said that like a few days ago. Like, yeah, like I did say that. But Titanfall 2 is quite of a big difference compared to Call of Duty. Like I've been I played Call of Duty Black Ops 3 in Advanced Warfare like for a whole damn year, you know, on the releases. And, uh, you know, Titanfall 2, after playing it for a while, let me tell you guys this, without inciting a freaking fanboy war, I think Titanfall 2 has super tight movement. And that's all I'm going to say. I don't want no fanboy war here, guys. So anyways, moving on to the main topic of today. Today, I'll be talking about Call of Duty 2017 on why it sucks. Would it be good? Would it be bad? I believe 100%, guys. This game is going to fucking suck balls. Compared to what we have right now, which is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, it's already bad. But it's going to get worse next year. And there's many reasons behind it too. Let me start off with reason number one. The supply drops. And everybody knows already about this. The supply drops has been getting worse since Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare, we had the supply drops for free for a while. And you can unlock you know, some badass weapons like the Battle Inferno, the ASM-1... Um, you know, I forgot the speakeasy. ASM-1 speakeasy was the best one from the whole damn SMG you know, set that we had there. And most of these guns were pretty much unlockable right away off the beginning, the first two months of the release day of Advanced Warfare. After you play a few games, you get some badass supply drops. And then on Twitter, we got people asking, why not the supply drops for sale? Because I want to buy tons of them in a big bundle. And that's how everything changed. You know, Advanced Warfare ended up sending supply drops. And now the good weapons are harder to get because they lowered the rate of them. So it got worse from there. Black Ops 3 that did the same thing. We had some freaking DLC weapons in the freaking supply drops that we cannot get from the season pass. And that's what made kind of like the supply drop thing even worse because we couldn't get these weapons during the season pass. Like the season pass is worthless. Fuck the maps, we want the weapons. <laughs> that's what pretty much everybody thought at that point. So now we got it again in Infinite Warfare and Infinite Warfare, the worst thing they did is that in order for you to level up your weapons, you got to buy some supply drops to get some weapon fragments or also I think you can also get some weapon fragments after the game. I'm not sure. I haven't played the game, but I've seen people talk about it. So I believe it's getting a little bit worse. So seeing in order for you to unlock the weapons, the next weapon in the weapon category of the assault rifles, you got to unlock supply drops. It's fucking worse, you know, at this point. So it's terrible this year. Imagine what's going to be next year. In order for you to even level up, for sure it's going to be in the supply drops in order to get some XP or some bullshit. I don't know. But the supply drops are going to get worse next year. And that's what's going to actually kill the freaking game. Everybody's going to have to waste some more money in order for you to level up or even be good at the game. The next thing I want to talk about will be the stupid Call of Duty people. Why am I calling them stupid? Like, it's they're fucking retarded up the fucking ass. Don't even question the people. Don't even try to protect yourself if you're a Call of Duty YouTuber watching this. You're fucking stupid. The Call of Duty community, though. Now, my subscribers, y'all are pretty smart for sure. I'm pretty sure y'all are smart. And if you're smart, I'll give you a cookie. So just send me your address in the inbox. So, anyways, the Call of Duty people are fucking stupid because all these people ranted, complained, cried during the whole damn summer, made videos about the company, made videos about the developers. They made fun of everybody in that Call of Duty company, that Activision company. But yet, they still play the fucking game. One of the greatest examples I wanna show you guys is White Boy Samus Street. The guy made a hashtag trend on Twitter, make COD great again. And now we see him play the Call of Duty remaster. And I'm like, don't you want to change for the freaking franchise instead of wasting eighty dollars and getting fucked for Activision? Like, why? Don't spend nothing. Stand your fucking ground. But instead, you gave him eighty dollars to get fucked. So, make COD great again. But let me pay eighty dollars first. Like, it's fucking stupid, man. If you want you want it to get better. Do not give up any money. Stop giving them money, and they'll learn. But you keep on feeding them, and that's fucking stupid, man. That's fucking retarded. You freaking bashed them the whole summer and you ended up buying the game. See how stupid that is? And then another person I would like to talk about, which a lot of my subscribers for sure watch, 8 Thoughts. You know, I respect the guy. I like his videos and everything. He's pretty funny. But one of the biggest mistakes that he, I think he actually did is buying the Infinite Warfare game. He bashed everybody. He bashed some of the biggest YouTubers out there, like T. Martin. He called them out and everything. And then he buys the game himself. See how stupid that is? You're still giving money to the company that you fucking hate. Here, have $80 so you can so you guys can fuck me. That's what it is. 
That's what Athos going through right now. He's getting fucked by Activision. He's playing Infinite Warfare, but hey, let me make fun of the big YouTubers, you know? It's fucking stupid, man. So that's what's killing the franchise. You guys are still willing to give up money to the company that's fucking you over. That's fucking stupid. So the Call of Duty people are stupid. The supply drops are killing the game because you gotta waste more money in order for you to play the game. Uh, another thing that's killing the franchise has to be the DLC. I mean, the season pass is worthless, so they don't even buy, fucking buy it. And then another thing, the remaster should have been separate. Like, what the fuck, man? And that's another thing. They keep on doing remasters. Their main game that they're trying to release is going to get even worse because they're not putting the full effort, you know, because they got to remaster the other game and they got to separate the company to, like, make the actual game they're trying to promote. So... It's a lot of shit that's got to be going down, man. It's got to be a lot worse. I'm telling you, Call of Duty 2017 is not going to be an improvement. The, wor the worst thing we can get is pretty much of a pay-to-win game. <laughs> this is going to be next year. Call of Duty 2017 right there. So that's it, guys. I wanted to talk about today. Call of Duty 2017 will suck, and these are the reasons why. And if you guys got any problems with what I said, leave it in the comment section. I don't really mind reading it. So I'll see you guys later, and subscribe for more.